Actually, the idea that the disciples could have been lying and then were later willing to die, it has rarely, rarely, rarely appeared in the skeptical literature for the last 200 years. And I think we know that if, if this theory or others don't appear in the literature for 200 years, there's probably a really good reason, and there is. It's a really lame attempt to explain away the resurrection. We are familiar in our society with a lot of people who are willing to die for their message. And I don't, I don't doubt for a moment that it's not just Christian missionaries. It could be missionaries in any other religion. It could be the Buddhist priests who set themselves on fire to protest the war in Vietnam decades ago. It could be uh, kamikaze pilots or atheists who die for communism. I mean, I don't doubt that there are a lot of religious and or political causes for which people would die. The point is that when someone willingly dies, that tells you they're sincere. When someone willingly dies, that shows you they believe the message that they are teaching. In the history of religions, no other founder of a major world religion is believed by his or her orthodox followers to have been raised from the dead. None of them, the followers even say that. The disciples of Jesus are the only ones then, of all the major religions, all the major founders, they're the only one who claim to have evidence of resurrection appearances. Now, what does willing to die for your faith show? It indicates that you are being, to the best of your ability, you believe this. So you're being accurate, you think you're accurate, you think you're speaking truly but only the disciples would have evidence for the resurrection. So when a Christian missionary willingly dies, they're dying for the, for the apostles' message of 2,000 years ago. When other religious people die, they're dying for their message whenever that came about. But the apostles, when they were willing to die, the reasoning goes like this, the resurrection is a central Christian message. Without the resurrection, there's no Christian message. So if they died, they had to be dying for the resurrection appearance. Okay, that doesn't prove they're right, but it proves that they believe they were right. But here's the key. They were the only ones who were in the right time, right place, being able to grab the, the right kind of evidence. They're the only ones who can answer the question, and they're the ones who willingly died.